Kagaribi a few Kagaribi ago and there was like five or six different Almars that like got out of pools in like winners. Far out. Which That's is a like a lot of Almar. But uh, we're back. Only you set. So yeah. Ko and Lame as well. Yeah. Straight yeah. away playing off the back of the last one. Yeah, no breaks. No breaks at all. We gotta run this bracket. But I'm interested because, uh, yeah, Sunoko lost to uh, Noise Alma earlier. Mm -hmm. I think it was 2 0. And I'm curious if there's just like anything differently that Uame will do that will just like maybe give Sunoko a little bit more of an edge. Or if this matchup is just super rough. Because I know it's not easy for Young Link. Mm, what makes it so difficult, would you say? I just think the Pikmin like interrupting most of the projectiles in neutral mm. just by throwing side B is is kind of rough because you don't really get to start anything from projectiles that easily. Right, because uh, they just get in the way and yeah. trade off them, yeah. And then, you know, Olimar getting the side Bs through, you're getting, what, 10, 15, yeah, 20? <laughs> yeah, you, you basically just lose the projectile war, so you, you gotta have to just rely on normals a little bit more. Oh, oh no, he always has like the purple lineup from the lock too. That was like 45. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Right. He's I... just raiding for the mist tech. Oh, uh, and he I... has the whistle armor too. Okay, okay, okay. That time he didn't time it well, the down. I love the way Uame, um, he stalls in the air with the up B hmm. to then throw out another aerial. He kind of uses it as a third jump, mm -hmm. which is a cool little movement option that only those characters that can throw out aerials after up B can do. Yeah, he kind of has to rely on it because uh, all Mars like landing options aren't super good so just makes up the timing a little bit can be the only way you can land sometimes mm. yeah uh, definitely yeah it's rough yeah so you know there's just he's just trying to do young link things but he can't no <laughs> the, the big men are there sometimes even when like he doesn't get his projectile stop the hit stop animation of hitting Pikmin is like enough uh, delay for him to get punished, even for like using his normal moves. He's seeing it a lot right now. Right, so he's like getting a, a clank and then getting punished for the clank. Yeah, all yeah. my players try to abuse this a lot. Same thing with like Ice Climbers and uh, like Duck Hunt. No, it makes sense because it's like a, a projectile and a, a hitbox at the same time, but you can throw out the next thing. Oh, trying to get that uh, down air that we saw in the, oh, in the last set. He... That deep down air from uh, a few games ago. Yeah, yeah. I think Suinogo saw he's going low, so he wanted to like reversal him there, but he still messed up. I think he tried to like reverse up B, but he pressed the wrong thing. Mm. I mean, it, man, it's so easy to get flustered when somebody's right down there and you're off camera. Yeah, and recovery wise, like Young Lynx isn't the best. No. Unless you have a bomb on deck that is ready to explode. Mm. Otherwise, you're kind of locked into those up Bs. It's rough too because the only other character Suinoko plays is Diddy Kong, which also is not a good matchup mm. against Olimar. <laughs> yeah, far out. Those uh, purple Pikmins would gimp him like crazy. It's like a similar reason that for a young league, like your banana gets blocked by all the Pikmin. But let's see. He's running back PS2. See if he adapts a little bit here. Luckily, he's kind of figured out a safe way to destroy the Pikmin. And yeah, with he's the doing bombs. Much better. With the bombs, or the. I guess the neutral air is pretty good for that as well. Mm. Yes. Not much lag. You can kind of throw it out a couple of times when you're at a safe distance to get the Pikmin off you. Oh, and he wiggled his shield to get the Pikmin off of. Is that his a shield? thing? Yeah, it's like a. It's a very niche thing. I did not know that was a thing. I am learning new stuff about Olimar every day. I watch yeah. plenty of uh, plenty of Young Link. We have a great one in Australia, but Olimar, a rare pick. Great little three-piece there with the arrow and the bomb. Finally getting like the projectile combos to work. It mainly worked because like the Pikmin were not there to block Olimar's body for once. Mm. Oh. oh. Oh no. Yeah, great punish there on the aggressive double jump back to stage. Oh, great parry, dude. That's like not easy to punish Young's Nair. No, it's like what, minus two, something ridiculous. Yeah. That's basically the only way you could punish it. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes even on parry it's hard. Oh, the boomerang coming back, okay, it's pretty smart. 
It can still destroy the Pikmin while it's coming back to Young Link. I didn't know that. Mm, yeah, it still does a fair bit of damage. Just not a lot of knockback. Ooh. Okay. Got a ledge. Back. Let's see if he can make a play. Dang. Uh, Wami's whistle armor, like, timing has been very good, too. It's been hard for Suinogo to get a straight hit that kills, but dang, that downer was yeah, perfectly timed. Yeah, it's so active, man. It's like 10 frames or something. Uh, okay, big combo. Oh, so much damage. Oh no, he had purple in hand, so he just had to deal with all the shield pressure. Nice. Oh, great whistle, but he just is like, oh, oh he got snapped out his jump. double jump too. Brutal. Uh, he had, I think he had down tilt up B to kill instead of going for forward air. Okay, that one's good though. Good evening it up. Yeah, a moment ago, Swinoka was still in his third stock and, uh, Losing oh, two. Oh, yellow up smash. And he got the pivot grab too with the white Pikmin. Bro, he did so much damage. He just got 60% over one neutral win. Right. He might just die right now. Honestly. He has one ledge trap, here. right? Yeah. One strong back air or a cheeky up smash out of shield, and that's curtains. How'd he get up ledge? Good carry. Yep. He's just. Literally had to swing so many things just to get off the ledge, and he was ready for like almost all of them. Like, actually parried low nair, which is very hard. <laughs> like, a very, very, very just like the nair ground. before it hits the ground. Yeah, no, that makes sense. It's such a safe move when you land it that low, so I, I can't blame Suenoko for thinking that he was fine to yeah. throw out that nair because. Yeah, there's very few characters that, or players that are comfortable parrying that. Yeah, he even had the bomb too for like some added like shield pressure, but Luami's mean, like, no, I have purple, I'm smash. Yeah, I, I don't to. care, I'm ready to go. And that was the reverse hit too, right? Yeah. Man, cheeky. Rough. So, so you know who gets third today, losing to two different Almar players. Yeah, wow. So, who's winners? Who have we got next? Losers final? This is grand finals now. Amazing. Noi. I don't think Noi wants to do the Almar Ditto because he plays like 50 characters. Right.